Come on home. Oh, this is the Cecilia Report, and I'm Cecilia. This is not my desk, and these are not my things, but today, as part of a very special episode of the Cecilia Report, we're answering advice questions that you guys sent in. And everyone knows that if you're answering advice questions on YouTube, you have to have a desk because it makes your advice seem professional and legitimate. Our first question is Cecilia, I'm in desperate need of your help! I'm a struggling artist and it just seems like no one will view my work. How do you get so many views and subscribers? I just want to be like you. Okay, well it might appear like this kid is actually asking for professional help. The underlying issue is that he thinks that the show is good. Well, it's not. So, there's something clear obviously wrong with him. So, if you are the young man who sent in this email, I advise you to seek out medical help because I think something's not right in your head. <clears throat> Next question. Hi, M. Jackson, and your show is funny, XD. I net advice because I want to sit by my best friend at lunch, and my girlfriend wants me to sit by her, and my best friend doesn't like my girlfriend, so who should I sit with, lol? Question mark. You should know because you had your best friend on your show. Also, please give me a shout out, XD, XD. Well, Jackson, this is actually a very, very simple fix. Okay, so you have a best friend who wants to eat lunch with you, and you have a girlfriend that wants to eat lunch with you. I'm not telling you to choose between one or the other, because, I don't know, maybe your best friend's a jerk and you need to dump him. Maybe your girlfriend's a jerk and you need to dump her. But I don't know these people. But all I can say is, right now with the information I'm given, you just need to have lunch twice. Really, it works out for everyone, because your girlfriend's happy, your best friend's happy, and you get to have lunch twice, and obviously, that's a win. Next one! How do I cope with the fact that some infinities are larger than other infinities? Thanks, V Confused in San Diego. Okay, we actually talked about this in calculus, so I actually do know how to answer this one. Uh, I used to think that this was weird too, but then it makes sense because, like, if you're, you can, like, if you think about how some infinities are larger than others, and you can subtract them from each other and get, like, a very simple answer, like, two or something. So, I don't know. Maybe you should look into calculus. Uh, I'm having a hard time explaining this because I'm not really a teacher, but yeah, just just pick up a calculus book and it'll explain it. Yes, hello, I'm submitting a question for your upcoming video. I would appreciate being kept anonymous. When choosing a house pet, how do you determine which one is best? Cat, dog, fish. Thank you. All right. Whoever sent him this question, why did this have to be anonymous? Anyway, the fact that you want this to be anonymous makes me think that maybe your mom and dad don't want you to have a pet. So maybe you probably shouldn't have a pet. Maybe you're irresponsible and don't know how to take care of a dog. So when you're just starting out, I would go with fish because they're pretty easy to take care of and they only live about two years. Obviously, I'm biased and I would say that cats are the best pets in general, but if you're just starting out, I'd go with a fish. Hi, my name is Catherine and I saw your research lab video. It was very cool, by the way. Aw, thank you. And I have a question about that. So I'll be going to college and look into doing research lab things, but I'm pretty germaphobic. Would that be a problem with anything that you do? I'm kind of embarrassed about it, so that I didn't really want to ask the people when we toured the labs. I'm still kind of deciding though. I may go for psychology instead. Thanks, colon, big capital D. All right, Catherine. Huh, I actually have some good news for you. A research lab is an excellent place for a germaphobe. You know why? We have to sterilize everything. We have this big machine called the autoclave that we have to shove things in before we use them. And this autoclave kills everything, even bacterial spores. But honestly, a research lab is a very good place for a germaphobe. And it might make you a better researcher because you have to practice very good aseptic technique when you're in the lab. Because any little bacteria that gets in there will basically contaminate your whole college. And before you know, you have a biofilm in your cells that you work so hard to get. And it's just a mess. Number one, what type of potato should I get for my ears? What? Number two, how many cats does it take to change a light bulb? Well, not only do cats not have opposable thumbs, but frankly, they don't ever need to change night bulbs because they have night vision, so they can do pretty well in the dark. Number three, I love your YouTube videos. I'm sorry. What ones should I show to my friends to get them to love it too? Oh, just go to my most popular videos and just show them those because... Um, those are the ones people seem to like, apparently. Dear illustrious, beautiful, and esteemed Cecilia, what do you do when you have a roommate? God, they were roommates. Like in college or something related, who just really stinks. Not stinks in the way that they're a bad roommate. In fact, they're pretty nice. Maybe a little eccentric, but that's beside the point. But literally and physically stinks. Like, I don't think they've ever showered stinks. And then this is especially bad because you're supposed to sleep in this room with a stinky person. Just asking for a friend. Totally unrelated to the fact that we share a room. Queen Newt Newt. Okay, Nat. This is from my sister Natalie, by the way. I'm sorry that I'm bottle feeding kittens and their formula smells like butt and our whole room smells like butt, but I don't stink, do I? Why, Natalie? I feel betrayed. 
Betrayed, I tell you. I hope she doesn't mind the fact that we're using her room for this video because she's away and I totally didn't tell her I was gonna do this. All right, folks, she thought the moment would never come, but we are done with this video, so... Hooray! I'm thinking about doing maybe one of these again next season if you didn't think this one was too terrible. So you can send in any advice questions you might have to wildpathinc at gmail.com. That's wildpathinc at gmail.com. Until next time, this is the Cecilia Report, and I'm Cecilia. Goodbye! I hope to be there by the morning And see this pine and I'll transform